Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, we are going to be doing a tier list of Cartoon Network shows. If you like this video, go ahead, leave a like, comment down below what your all-time favorite Cartoon Network show is out of the whole list that we're going to get and let's just jump straight into this video. So look at all these cartoons that we have. I grew up watching a majority of these so I'm super excited. So here as you can see we have all the different types of tiers. We have S which is the best, A great, B good, C mediocre, D bad, never watch slash don't remember and what is this? I think we're gonna get rid of the what is this category. First show that we have is Two Stupid Dogs. I actually don't really remember watching this show, so I'm gonna put out Never Watch slash Don't Remember because I don't. The cover of it looks very, very familiar. 16. I'm 16, 16. Ba -na 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 -na. So 16 was actually one of those shows that made me want to be 16 at such an early age. I really thought my teen years were going to be just like this show. I'm going to have a friend that works in the mall. We're always going to meet up at the mall. You know, it's like your typical teenage group, but like better. Um, the opening is a banger. I love the show. Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, this show, I kind of, I kind of feel like it was short. I don't remember too much of it. I do know it was a fantastic show. I mean, it caught my attention. You guys remember the flip phones? Like, it was like flip phone, air, flip phone era, like everything. I feel like, it didn't have enough run time. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe it wasn't on for so, so long, but it definitely was like one of those best banging shows. So I'm definitely gonna put an A. So A Pub Named Scooby-Doo. Funny enough, I actually did watch A Pub Named Scooby-Doo. So growing up, Scooby-Doo actually, spoiler alert, was not one of my favorite shows. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to put it out there. It wasn't. I don't, I don't think I liked it too much. I think I liked the original, like, Scooby-Doo. You know what I'm talking about? Like, the original, original one. I think I like better than a pup named Scooby-Doo. To be honest with you, it was not that memorable. I don't even remember much about it. So I'm going to put it in mediocre. Adventure time. Okay, this is going to be the most, like controversial opinion ever i actually was never an adventure time person i was never a fan of it i never really got into it like it just was never my show it was never my thing i found it super weird super chaotic like i didn't understand half of the things that was going on in the show don't get me wrong like i love marceline the vampire queen and i love you know finn and jake and you know princess bubblegum it just got really weird like at the beginning of it it was pretty cool it was pretty chill but then it just got really weird out of nowhere and it's one of the worst shows for me i'm not a big fan of it i know adventure time when it came out like when it started it was everybody's thing i put it on d because i could never really get into it it was just never gonna be my thing can't read like the full name something naked but i actually do remember this show but i don't remember me like actually watching it and liking it do you know what i mean do you ever just look at like a, a title of a show and you're like yeah i know it existed and i do remember it but i don't remember watching it and i don't remember it being significant in my life so i'm just gonna put it never watch amazing world of gumball was the shit it's always been the shit and it always will be the shit i don't know what it is it was the most amazing show ever and it was, it was like on the weirdness scale for me as like adventure time but this one was just better and it also talks about like really important messages like remember the episode of gumball and penny where like penny came out of her shell it was like a whole deep meaning to it i love when cartoons do that it has so many iconic scenes that you even see now on tiktok so uh, clearly the creators did something right with the amazing world of gumball i'm gonna put it out there i love the show fun little fact about apple and onion i did see the show i did i remember seeing some episodes it was just never my thing but i'm gonna put it at never watch and don't remember because i it never like stuck to me this is like a, a little bit of a newer cartoon network it's not old school cartoon network i feel like it's a little bit newer but i did see some of it it was just i just never was into it I'm gonna put this one I never watched and don't remember because I actually do remember seeing like something like commercials of it probably but again it was one of those things that I was never really into. Baby Looney Tunes was actually my show. I love anything with Looney Tunes was obviously amazing but there is another version of Looney Tunes. I don't know what it's called. There's another Looney Tunes out there that I like better. If you remember the scene, I just saw it recently on TikTok and it opened, it unlocked like a part of my brain that I completely forgot about where it was like Lola driving and she's like on the phone talking to Buzz and she almost hit Buzz over the phone. Um, that's my favorite Looney Tunes. Baby Looney Tunes was good. It was really good. So I'm gonna put Baby Looney Tunes as, as, as good. It is a good show. It is great. I actually really liked that. That was really interesting to have them as babies. But I feel like 
if I'm gonna watch like Looney Tunes, is it gonna be that one with the one I was talking about, like the Lola Bugs or the original Looney Tunes, like the OG OG? That's like the top two I would give it to. So, okay, Batman Beyond, I did watch a little bit of it. I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember too, too much of it, but I, it was so weird. It was like one of those shows that I wouldn't go out of my way to watch, but if it was on TV, I'd watch the whole episode. I'm not gonna put up, I put out good. Don't play with me guys because Ben 10 had a chokehold on me for the longest time. First ever Ben 10 because then there was Ben 10 when he was a teenager or whatever. Mm. Teenage Ben 10 didn't hit. But Ben 10 as a kid was the best freaking show on planet Earth. I don't know. I loved Gwen. Honestly though, it kind of it kind of got a little bit weird when Gwen could like she didn't she know how to use magic like she learned how to use magic so it got a little bit weird then so ben 10 alien force was not a big fan of teenage ben 10. there was just something off about ben 10 when he became a teenager and it just didn't hit the same anymore it didn't have that chokehold on me maybe because i got older but, and i did not watch the new ben 10 i'm pretty sure that one is dog shit because okay the remakes of these shows i know they're remaking some of them they are i'm telling you they're not gonna hit the same teen titans go i'm sorry i'm putting it out there it was dog shit i saw so many episodes of teen titans go but it didn't hit the same like teen fucking titans camp laszlo okay so camp laszlo had a love-hate relationship with it like i can remember the opening of camp laszlo i know it i can vividly see it i was not a fan of it there was just something about Camp Laszlo that I just found so off that I was never a fan of it. But I will say when it was shown on TV, I did watch the episodes from start to finish. Chowder, Kanishmas. You're gonna tell me that you don't like Chowder? Chowder? Wasn't he voiced by the Jonas Brothers little brother Frankie? There you go. Little known fact, if you didn't know, now you know. I, I can remember me as a kid when Chowder came out, I thought it was the weirdest show ever again because it was just so like a lot of things were happening. I, I really thought in the beginning that I was not going to like the show. I thought it was the weirdest show. that. But then it just grows on you. It's one of those shows that you're like, oh yeah, this, this is going to be bad. And it's not. There was just something about it that made it so good. So Clarence, uh, Clarence, I did watch a bit of it. I know this was a little bit on the newer side. I think, I don't know how old I was, but I do know I was like already on the older side. I was like not really watching cartoons anymore, but I did watch a little bit of Clarence here and there. And I didn't really, like it was, again, it was one of those shows that I didn't really like. And depending on the episode, I would, I did like watch it. Sometimes I would like flick through the TV and I'll watch a better one of their newer shows. I'll give it that, but I don't think it was like amazing, awesome, cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I watched a little bit of Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs here, but I'm not gonna rate it because I really can't remember too much, but I did know, I do know about that. Code name, kids, next door everyone shut up codename kids next door was the best freaking show on planet earth don't mess with me i wanted to be part of the codename kids next doors like i wanted to be their friend this show made me want to jump into my tv and become the next one in the group courage the cowardly dog okay so i liked courage the, Cow courage the cowardly dog it is one of my childhood memories i can remember watching it was one of the best shows out there but i'm not gonna lie like the aliens and stuff made me really scared of it so like some episodes didn't make any sense and i was just there like what's going on i loved it i loved the opening of it stupid dog it made me look bad but i'm gonna put it in great i don't think it's the best show like it is like an amazing show it's my childhood i can remember myself i remember the episodes oh my god okay so cow chicken fun fact about count chicken i thought this shit was the weirdest show ever on planet earth like i don't understand mama why did it go like mama had a chicken dad had a cow they didn't know how it was weird i don't i don't even know who this character is you see this red guy i don't even know who that character is and he would like appear in the show and he was the one who showed his ass a lot right like he would always show his butt i don't know it was such a weird show i don't understand how it was on counter to network honestly i might bump it down to mediocre because it was really weird Craig and Creek, I know this is also like one of the newer Cartoon Networks, never watched. In Dexter's Laboratory. Come on now, come on now. You guys know Mandar? 
Ha 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 ha. Oh my god, come on now, come on now. I remember watching this show on Boomerang though. You guys remember Boomerang? If you know Boomerang, you know Boomerang. Like Boomerang used to have one of the, some of the banging shows ever. Oh fuck, okay, so Duck Dodgers. I'm just gonna put it here because I do remember Duck Dodgers. I can remember myself watching Duck Dodgers, but not enough information to give too much about it. Ed and Eddie. I remember even playing the game of Ed, Ed and Eddie. So Ed and Eddie was, I don't know, one of my first, you know how like when, when you unlock your memories, you know what I'm talking about? Like when you first unlock your memories as a kid, you reach a certain age where you're like starting to remember things. Ed and Eddie was one of the first shows I can remember. One of the first shows that I can also remember having their video game. They had the video game on the GameCube, I'm pretty sure. It was one of my favorite shows. Granted, it was a little weird and it was like a little off-putting and I was like, mm, I don't know. There's just something about Edda and Eddie that I'm just like, oh yeah. Foster's home for imaginary friends. Don't lie. This was one of your favorite shows ever. I loved Blue. I wanted a blue. In my head, I feel like blue was so squishy, but I, I loved Coco, 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 Coco. Sometimes Eduardo annoyed the fuck out of me, but I still loved all of the characters with all my heart. Why don't I end these shows? Like, I literally can never remember these shows ever ending. It's like they just stopped so unexpectedly. So I did watch Garfield and it wasn't my favorite. George, George, George of the Jungle. No way, this is also on login. All right. So George of the Jungle was one of my favorite. I feel like a lot of these good shows that I watched, it was so hard to find them on TV because like I would always miss them out. But when I would, when I could get that show, I was like, I love George of the Jungle. It kind of reminded me of um of Tarzan, but like a dumbed down version. And I'm not a fan of Tarzan, but I am a fan of George of the Jungle. <laughs> the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Come on now, you're gonna tell me that Grim it's not an S? Come on, give me your lunch money, freak. It had the most iconic lines ever. I love the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. It was kind of gross, don't get me wrong. There was a lot, like whenever Billy would pick his nose and stuff, it was kind of gross. But like looking past the grossness and just like really thinking about the show, it was iconic. It had its iconic moments. My favorite moment will always be, give me your lunch money freak um i am weasel not a fan it was it's it's like in the same category as cow and chicken they would like kind of play they would kind of play the shows like around the same time but they also had like the same type of style to it you know what i'm saying but if we're gonna like compare it to like cow and chicken and stuff i watched more of cow and chicken than i am weasel johnny bravo Ooh, ah. i think i'm gonna put johnny bravo in great it was um another show that i watched on boomerang obviously it's very nostalgic i remember watching it growing up it was all right it was a good show i think i'm gonna put it from great to good it was a good show it was good it wasn't terrible like all these other shows johnny test oh my god i okay my favorite thing was like his twin sisters falling in love with the same guy it was always so funny to me i'm like can you imagine you and your twin sister like in the same guy like that's crazy but comparing it to the shows that we have an s tier i don't think it's at the same level as the others because the others were just there just has something to them that you just loved watching that always wanted you to just like i, I could binge all the ones on S I could binge. I don't really think I could ever really binge watch John and Tess. It would have to be one of those that it would have to be on TV. Because for S tier, I kind of imagine myself like wanting to binge watch these shows again. And those are the type of shows that I'd love to binge watch again. The Amazing Walter Gumball? Hell yeah. Ben 10? Fuck yeah. With that being said, thinking about it like that, I think I'm gonna put George in the Jungle as great. I did watch Justice League. So it's for me, it's between good and great because um, again, it was one of those shows that I never went out of my way to watch. When it would come on TV though, I I would watch from start to finish or from wherever i picked up on to finish but i don't know i've never really been big into like superhero shows i think i'm gonna put it on the same level as like baby looney tunes batman and johnny bravo did i see this i think i saw this justice league i know i saw one of them i'm gonna put that one this is the looney tunes i was talking about where it's about like lola and like lola was on the phone about it hit bugs this is better in my opinion than baby looney tunes i thought i thought it was really funny i, I liked the animation of this one better probably because it was like getting more modernized than the others even though i think the animation style of baby looney tunes in that one was kind of similar and i really like lola's personality in in that looney tunes 
as well because i think in baby Looney Tunes she was like like a like a mother figure right like she was like oh this and that on applejack like i'm gonna tell this and that but like in looney Tunes, she was a lot more like laid back like she almost hit buzz with the car i'm always going back to that because that's like the, the how i remember her personality is like that and i think i liked her personality better as an adult than as a baby i think i saw this i remember i think i remember i think i remember because that looks so familiar i think it's also one of those shows that i wouldn't go out of my way to watch but if it was on tv i'd watch it flap jack flapjack was again one of those shows that it was really fucking weird i mean where did flapjack come from how did he end up with that guy and they ended up in a whale i don't remember if they ever explained it in the show and if they did someone please refresh my memory but like how the hell did they ever come to be but i just remember the candy barrel i always wanted to go to the candy barrel like they're literally just drinking candy but i really love the dynamic between flapjack and i can't remember the guy's name that's in the title with them but i do remember they had a very interesting dynamic i it was supposed to be like a father figure to him because i know the whale was like a mother figure to him you know they lived in the whale anyways I, I think it was because of his last name right like his last name was like lion or something like that that they stuck him in the school full of animals it was pretty interesting because it was a school full of animals and only one human boy i'm trying to, remember, I'm trying to give myself like more to go off of because right now i kind of want to put it at mediocre ninja go so the beginning of it before they figured out what the grand ninja was when they were like trying to figure out who the Grand Ninja is, that was when it was banging. But then after they like figured it out and this and that and Apple Jacks, I was like, okay, whatever. But the beginning of Ninjago was good. Powerpuff Girls don't because you're sleeping on them if you put them anything lower than the best. Are you kidding me? Sugar Spice and everything nice. I love, they had the most iconic villains. Mojo Jojo, I don't know what it was, but the name Mojo Jojo was always made me laugh. Regular show, bro. Regular show was, uh, Oh, was goaded i love regular show my favorite episode oh my god do you guys remember this episode it was the ha halloween episode so but regular show really outdid itself with halloween episodes i i remember i always fell in love with their halloween episodes i thought they did an amazing job with it i'm kind of sad i didn't see the show to the end because i did know i had like an ending and everything and i'm sad i didn't get to see it samurai jack okay so don't hate on me but I never really got into Samurai Jack. I know there's a whole story to it. My older brother is infatuated with Samurai Jack. He loves Samurai Jack. I could just never get into it. So I'm gonna put a mediocre. Just cause I wanna do it the favor of not putting it in bad. But yeah, no, I never really got into it. Again, it was also one of those shows that my brain could just never comprehend what the hell is going on. Like, I don't even think I know the plot of Samurai Jack. This Scooby-Doo. This is a Scooby-Doo that I like. Not the fucking like newer ones and stuff this is the original one or is this a newer one scooby-doo mr incorporated but i liked um mr incorporated better than a pup named scooby-doo it, it had like funny moments and stuff like that i i kind of liked it because it kind of reminded me of the original one whereas a pup named scooby-doo was like a whole new scooby-doo that i was just never really getting into oh my god wait i don't think i watched sonic boom i know i watched the sonic show fuck but i can't remember if it was is sonic boom the only sonic show or is there another sonic show because if there's another sonic show i do know i watch a sonic show but i cannot remember if it was sonic boom oh star wars the clone wars okay i'm just gonna put it and never watch anything like i said in the beginning of this video i'm not a star wars girl never been into it so i know of like star wars the clone wars and all that stuff but i i never got into it because i'm not a star wars fan people are gonna hate on me people are gonna hate on me steven universe i don't like it i don't like steven universe I, I i don't know if it's continuing or whatever i tried to get into it trust me i tried to get into steven universe I, I i don't know what it is i was just never a fan of it i think it was also one of those that i didn't understand like the plot what was happening what is the story what is going on like what is this what is that like you know what i'm saying teen titans go the shittiest show on planet earth i don't give a flying but i know like right now one of their songs oh animal is trending on on tiktok you want you want to watch a teen titan show you watch the og fucking teen titans bro teen titans in japan they're the the movie when they went to japan masterpiece one of the best movies i've ever watched to date no movie got me feeling how that movie made me feel i wish they would have continued teen titans i wish i wish i wish i was so in love with teen titans you don't even understand i wanted to be part of the teen titans believe it or not i wanted to get a superpower like them and be part of their team big total drama island oh 
i love that this was one of the shows that um i would want to i would always watch the new episode like as soon as i saw the commercial of of um like a new episode dropping of total drama island i was in it i was on it bro i was so on it to be honest i'm kind of surprised that a reality tv show and a cartoon version did so well oh my god ah i remember watching this one when as like when they were kids i don't know what is up with cartoon network and doing like versions of like if they were kids but it, obviously it does not compare to the original total drama island maybe looney tunes is a better like baby show totally spies okay so the reason why i didn't put it in s is because i love totally spies don't get me wrong it was one of my things but i was never like into it into it into it do you know what i'm saying like i completely forgot totally spies exists until like someone talks about it brings it up i see it on social Social media one way or another and i'm like oh yeah i remember that show i did see transformers but i'm not a transformer girl so i'm just gonna put it there for now oh my god uncle grandpa uncle grandpa was also a really weird show as you can tell by the title it was kind of off i i mean i watched a little bit of it, it wasn't my cup of tea but it was it wasn't you know what it wasn't a bad show to be honest with you it wasn't a bad it was one of those weird shows that strangely enough was not bad oh my god okay we bear bears dropped when i was a little bit older and i loved it i don't know what it was i think it's because they're cute bears i loved we bear bears oh i don't know what it was unpopular um, opinion i hated annoying orange i remember when it blew up on youtube it was like the biggest thing ever i hated it i don't know how people liked annoying orange i thought it was the weirdest shit ever even when it started off as the as a youtube videos i don't know i, I was never a fan of it at the time it, it was super creative obviously i think i saw this batman too i want to put this batman here because that batman looks familiar as fuck these two look really familiar oh my god we baby bears i saw a little bit of it and i and i loved it just as much as we bear bears but obviously we bear bears is better than the baby bears their voices are the cutest things in the whole entire fucking world dang can we talk about how this list is mainly never watched slash don't remember i clearly did not watch enough cartoons that this is what this shows i did not watch enough cartoons okay so as you can see this is the tier list but um the ones that i was able to rate i think i did a pretty good job not a lot i thought i, I thought I, I really thought i watched the majority of these shows but i was wrong but that's it for today's video if you guys liked the video go ahead leave a like subscribe and tell me out of all of these cartoons which is your favorite cartoon and i'll see you in my next video whenever that is